So I take, in this case, five sheets. Five sheets is enough for the day. And I just make sure that I use my template from my, which is basically the dashboard, the main cover for my Frankenfax. And it's, um, it's a nice straight edge because I used a guillotine to uh, trim it. And what I'm doing is just, in the time-honoured tradition, I'm just making... Uh, I'm, I'm making three, three sections which I can cut either with a pair of scissors or a guillotine. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, but I find actually this is quite, uh, quite therapeutic. I do this generally in the morning uh, once I've had a coffee. I don't think I can really do this before a coffee, to be honest. But there we go. And so I need to have a I need to have a guillotine in order to uh, do this. But before I do use the guillotine, what I what I do to make sure that it's I easily line it up is I'll just I'll just extend these lines to the edge of the paper because uh, it just makes it a lot easier to cut on the guillotine um, it's a little bit labor intensive but you know it's uh, it is what it is and uh, I don't see a I don't see a problem with it uh, the key here is to make sure that the the lines will intersect. That is a word from school, intersect. Okay, and I've got a final one here. I'm making a pig's ear of this, but it's partly because I'm I'm looking at the camera and looking at the what I'm doing on the paper. So really I need to just do it normally and have one that, well, it's one I've uh, done earlier as it were, but we can, uh, we can do this. We have the technology. So five sheets is about, is about right. Um, any more than that, and um, it's a little bit problematical with my uh, hole punch, but with five, they tend to stay together. Having said that, these ones aren't staying together, but there we go. Another trim. So I've got one, one lot there, and Hopefully I'll have another lot here. It's quite satisfying to use the uh, guillotine, really. Um, I think of the French Revolution when I do this. I don't know why. Um, okay, so let me put that away safely. And then what I, what I use now is I've got three sets of five. And I don't even bother lining them up. I just line them up very roughly. There we go. One lot. Two lots. And finally, three lots. So I have these, I have these um, three lots of paper and the pages are more or less lined up. Get a pair of kitchen scissors because what I do is I like to cut off the the corners here, and the reason why I do that, as regular viewers will know, is that when I put these oversized sheets in a binder, the the corners will allow me to more easily 
access these um, buttons. I don't know what you call them, levers, buttons, but um, this is a this is a really nice. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's just a. It's just they're quite. They're quite small on these. Um, I think these are seven sixteenths or eleven millimeters. Um, but if you had say twenty pages, maybe thirty pages, forty pages of printer paper in this particular case, that's eighty GSM. Uh, it would be a bit of an annoying thing to do that. Uh, so there we go. Plenty of paper for the day all ready to start and uh, all ready for my next cup of coffee. Thank you for watching. Until my next video, goodbye.